Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. I'm going to sit here and wait for people to come on. This is a live, so I'm going to wait for people to come on. Hey, Angela. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm just waiting for people to come in. When y'all come in, just say hello so I can know where you're from. Hey, Cora. Hey, Robin. Hey, Laverne. Hey, Deborah. Hey, Gina. I'm just sharing this with my group real quick. Hey, y'all. Yeah, y'all coming up in here. Hey. Wait a few minutes for people to come in. Hey, Diane. Hey, Melissa. Hey, Charlene. Hey, Denise. Hey, Cheryl. Hey, Antoinette. Hey, would you wanna? Hey, gorgeous. Zamaya, Mary, Cynthia. Oh, that's not Cynthia. Oh, Cynthia. Vanessa, Rhonda, Tawana, Phyllis. And Cynthia is from New Jersey. Hey, D. Nicole. Hey, L Louise from Texas. Hey, Diane from Atlanta. Thank you. She said she loved my hair. Thank you. Some different. Okay. Today we are going to be sublimating. I'm um, first. I have to show y'all what I've been doing. I've been doing a lot of stuff going on. Got a lot of stuff going on with me. So I'm gonna show y'all some things I've been doing lately. Getting my orders and stuff together, and just making new things for this Christmas holiday, and making up some stuff because I got a visitor's table this weekend. So I've been trying to get ready for that. Trying to get some stuff in order. Um, so I'm gonna show y'all that stuff first. Hey, um, <clears throat> do you want Wanda from um, I think she said Detroit. Michigan. I didn't close it down. I don't think I need this right now. I just, um, um, put it with it. Okay. So first of all, let me show y'all. Today we are going to be um I'm going to be showing you some things that I've made. Did it all my silhouette? And today we might sublimate something today too. I'm gonna try to get some sublimation going on today. I got my heat press working on. I got my heat press warming up, so I might do some sublimation today. Give me one second. I'm going to write this down. So I, I was going to do some. Yeah, I might just do one thing on sublimation today. Depends on how I go, how, how time to go. We might do a, some. We might do a cup, Um, and, and I was going to do a, like a journal. So we're going to see how that works. If I can figure out how my silhouette ain't working right. What the heck? Okay, there we go. Okay. So, I've been making, if y'all don't know, hey, hey, Craft With Love, 5-5, five, five, 55. Um, I've been making these wine glasses, y'all. These last year so so good for me last year. My um, I had a vendor's table. I, I was in the mall last year around this time, and I sold out so many of these glasses. So, I made some more so I can be able to take to my vendor's table for Christmas. People love these for, for gifts. Um, like I said, you, I have a video on how to make these. In my um, If you look on my video, on my channel, I do have a video on how to make bling bling glasses. Hey, fabulous. Fabulosis. Um, I do have a video on how to do these, so you can do those if y'all want to make them. You can go to my website, Charming Gab Boutique, and you can purchase them from there. But I do um, show you how to make these, and I can also put your um, name on the back of it, okay? These are some really good sellers for the Christmas holiday. People like to buy stuff like this to give to, as gifts. I already sold six of them already, okay? So they go fast. I can do whatever color you want. You can just choose the face you want and then the colors you want, okay? So I just ordered some more beads, some more um pearls. So I'm gonna do some more when they come in. Did I show y'all these back here? I got a lot, girl. I've been doing, I've been working, y'all. These take so these are so easy to do. Just give you some nice beads. I go to Bling Allergy. Um, I can't think of her her um shop, but the name of her um Facebook page is called Bling Allergy 101. Check her out. I don't know if I showed y'all that already. But um, she has a lot of nice, I use pearls a lot. Put these away so they won't get broken. Excuse me, sorry that my chest is in the video, but I gotta move it out the way so they won't get broken. And also, I did a cup, a mug. Okay, so I did this. I got this Christmas, you know, I'm just trying to do something with Christmas. I got another one I'm doing. I think I'm gonna do white and black for her. These are these images are I got these from Dollar Tree, these cups from Dollar Tree, but um, these images are like um, four by four or something like that, four and a half by four and a half, depends on what size your mug. These are really big cups okay i love these cups they're big 
So these are different cups that I use for my sublimation. My sublimation cups are smaller. I got an order today. I had to do this. I did this today. Sublimation. I got to ship these out tomorrow. Um, also did these. I was going to do these on the video. But I didn't because I already got a video on these already. So I did some of these. I got a video. I got an order for this. Well, hold on. Not, I got. Um, I just did these. These extra ones I just did for my um my tables coming up. Red for divas for the um sorority and the blue for sorority also. And this is right here was a. So I'm gonna ship this out tomorrow. Okay, that was an order. So I do personalize these on my website too. If you if you wanna know how to make them, I do have a video on how to make uh, how to sublimate on those also. Okay. This one's I just did for extra, so I can go ahead and put them on my table. Get my get my stuff my stuff together for the table. And, I, and then also today I was working on these, these ribbon for my tutu socks. So I've been there when she wanted red and black for Christmas. So I got it almost done with these. I already sold everything together. I just gotta get the um put it together and I'll be done. The socks are already over there, so I'm almost done with that. So I've been working, y'all. I've been working. So let me show y'all some stuff that I got from they they sent me a box from um from um from Condi. If you're on about Condi.com, Condi.com is where I get my sublimation blanks from. I get my tumbler from them. I get my shirts from them. I get a lot of stuff from them. I get a whole lot of stuff from them. My, these um these came from Condi. Okay. If you ask for Chloe Smith and say my name, Charmaine Galloway, she'll give you a discount. You cannot go on the website. You have to call her, ask for Chloe Smith, and then she'll give you a discount on whatever you purchase. Okay. Just let her know you, I sent you and you'll get a discount. And they send me free stuff. Yay. So let me show y'all what you, First, let me show y'all some stuff. Hey, Shayna. Um, first I'm gonna show y'all the stuff that I bought from Etsy, okay? I did purchase this stuff from Etsy. Um, I think these... Uh, I seen somebody on YouTube, on YouTube, on Facebook, making these beautiful journals. I got one open already. So I, I bought a couple of these from, from Etsy. So all you gotta do is go into uh, Etsy and put blank sublimation, um, journals. Aren't these cute, y'all? I seen somebody with these. I was like, let me just start getting these. Even though I made my own journals from um in canva i got a video i'll show you how to do your own journals in canva i do journals i do calendars i do um journals calendars and notebooks in con canva sorry canva.com so you want to know how to do those between you and you cinch them all together with your cinch i have a video on that but i also have the video on how to sublimate on the dollar tree glitter notebooks okay but these are sublimation blank notebooks okay J like journals you basically open this up so let me like this on the back. And today I might do one of these, okay? I'm going to do one of these tonight so I can show y'all. But it's not going to be a full design because I don't have time to do a full design. I'm just going to do like, put a design right here on the front. But you can, you can also do a whole full design. Full design. I can show you how to create a full design, a simple full design so you can know how to do it. But I'm not going to go in great detail on how to do it, okay? But I can show you how to do it on silhouette. I'm going to do that today, okay? And basically, you just, basically, you just goes and you just take this part off, I guess. It's some, I forgot how to do these. You can just take off the back, the back, and get then it sticks right on the um in the book, okay? And then it opens up like this. But you can't stick it on there until you got it sublimated first, put it in the heat press or whatever, and you stick it on there after you help after you sublimate it. I'm pretty sure this brown thing come off of it, and then you just stick it, it's sticky on the um the, behind the brown. Okay, and also these small ones. I ordered these, I didn't really like these. I mean, I'm still use them. I mean, I don't like they so small, but people might like these. I might could sell these, I'm not sure. But I did buy them. I got the wrong size. So, um, these are the small ones. They're cute. Okay. Put a design. Basically, take this whole thing and do the whole design. We could do a front design like this. We could do a full design. Okay, I'm going to do a front design. And the front design look good if you have a white background to your design. Okay, so that's the small one. Let me show you the appearances of them. It's the big one. It's the small one. Okay. Okay, so I bought a few of those. I've got two of these, and then I have like one, two, three, four, five, six of the big ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some of these sublimation. I'm gonna sublimate some of these and put them on my table because I know these are sale. Because on my table, I, basically what I sell, I sell a lot of stuff. You go on my website, charminggalboutique.com. I sell a lot of stuff, but when I take on my bigger tables, my bigger sellers, my biggest sellers are my bling bling wine glasses, my mugs, and my tumblers, my notebooks, my journals, my calendars. Okay. Those are the main things, and then I also do the um, I also do um, bags. What else do I do that really sell a lot? Uh, the the passport. So I have like two or three tables when I go on vendors. So I have a lot of stuff on my tables, but I have mostly, like I said, the journals and stuff like that, the calendars, and the I also have the um, what's the, the uh, can't think of it, not the journals, but the um. You know, when you had a month, I can't think of the dog. What is it? Journals, calendars, and planners. I'm sorry. 
brain fright, brain fart. Those are things I sell out, so I do a lot of that here where I'm at. You see what I see? Let's see what y'all talking about. I like them, Charmaine. They are nice. I did pick up half of pearls from Michaels. Okay, listen, yeah, some of the pearls, the pearls are good at Michaels, okay? Um, but don't get the um the uh the gems at Michaels, okay? Those are not going that's not good. When you put the glue on there, they they turn and they don't like bling bling like they're supposed to. So you could buy pearls from Michaels, but do not buy the um the um the bling blings the i can't my mind is not right today <laughs> don't buy the gems okay just buy the pearls the the flat back pearls from michael let me show you how it look it look like these oh my goodness thank you big boy prince for your super chat 19.99 thank you i appreciate you she, she, she said he said i love your show thank you i appreciate you they look like this they flat on um, back pearls okay and they flat so get you can get these my nails in the way, y'all. But you can get these from Michaels. But don't get the the um the rhinestones. That's what I'm saying. The rhinestones. My mind all over the place. So thank you, thank you for that super chat. Um, what else? Let me see. Hello, Chris. Good evening, everyone. Hey, Dimps. Hey, Joanna. And Shane, I would say. Okay, so any other questions before I get to this box? Okay. Like I said, kind of send me, always send me free stuff. And this, I think this, I think this is, um, I guess they're going to have a sale coming up. And they want to just, they want to just show y'all at a certain time. So I just said, go ahead and get it over with. I think the sale is between now and, let me see, let me see. This is a Black Friday weekend, okay? Okay, it's a Black Friday weekend event, okay? It's, um... Let me see. So it's a Black Friday. It's a Black Friday week. So I guess starting from Friday to from all this week is going to be um a good sale. So check out Condi.com and get your sales on. Get your sale on. Get your items for a cheaper price. So here's my list of things they get. They gave me. They also gave me a book. I forgot to um bring it down here, but they gave me a book. The basically a, a catalog. Of everything they sell, which is really good because you can go through it and you can just um circle whatever you want or whatever. You have you can have it there in your face instead of using the website. I think it's a really thick um, catalog, too, so y'all like that. Let's get on started. Okay, this is a pillowcase. I already got one of these. They can send me this, some stuff. Um, There's a pillowcase. It zips. This, and I'm going to tell y'all the item number, too, because if y'all want to get y'all can go ahead and write the item number down. So I'll give y'all another minute to get a pencil and paper or a pen or whatever so y'all can get to write this stuff down. Or this video will be saved, so you'll have time to go back and look at it, okay? So this pillowcase is the is the um, item number is J is in Jack D is in Dog W is in Wanda seven four four okay it's a nice size this is a fifteen by fifteen well you can buy as well sixteen by sixteen uh, fabric pillow sham it zips up and I like this it's very sturdy very thick I got some of these and they're really nice okay really nice really thick really Kindy got some good stuff okay Kindy has some good stuff. It's kind of, it could be a little bit expensive than your little stuff from Etsy, but it's very good quality. The customer service is great, so you have no problem with Kanye. I love them. I've been dealing with them for, for a long time, okay? What is this? What is this? I like a blanket or something. Let's see if I can find it on my list. It's a waffle texture tile. It's a huge, it's like it's going to be a huge, oh, it's more than, oh, it's a whole lot of stuff in here. It's a waffle texture tile. It's a hand tile. This is, um, item number is S is in Sam, N is in Nancy, D is in David, 315. Connie.com. It's a waffle texture, 11 by 18 tile. You can sublimate on this. All this stuff is sublimation blank, so you can sublimate on all these things I'm showing you, okay? Yep, Chloe Smith, thank you. Go to Connie.com and access Chloe Smith. This is a heart, I think this might be a mouse pad. It's very, very thick, y'all. This is thick, look how thick this is. This must be a mouse pad. Let's see. Yep. This is a heart rubber mouse pad. 8 by 9.5 black back. And the item number is M is in Michael. P is in Pam. 958. Thank you, Maria, for putting those numbers down for me. I think that's the number she put down there for me. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate y'all help. I love y'all. Like I said, if y'all don't get it, they are putting it down there before, um, in the comment. And if not, this video will replay so you can go ahead and watch it later. What is this? Let's see. Well, this is a pillowcase. It's a long, very long pillowcase. I mean, this material is so nice and thick. Oh, stretch too. And it's not, you know, polyester is kind of thin. This is like, it feels like cotton. Okay, but it's sublimated. Made up. You can sublimate on this, okay? It's all sublimation blanks, okay? 
You don't need no extras, nothing. The stuff is made on them, you'll be done. Had a heat press and your stuff makes your ink and printer, you good. This is a vapor basic tea fabric pillowcase. Okay, this is 20.5 by 30. That's a that's a big pillow, okay? Nice. You can put a lot of stuff on this pillowcase. Okay, this one is another towel. These are so nice. This is like a, a big face towel, a hand towel also. Um 65% cotton and 35% polyester. Hmm. But it's it, this is basically, I guess they coat it with something because um it's only 35% polyester, but it's gonna work. It's gonna be full polyester, okay? Uh what's this? Let me see what this is. What kind of towel this is. Of course, they don't have it on here. I'm gonna start marking my stuff. Let me mark stuff so I won't be looking over it again. I got the pillowcase. Let me see what else I have here. I got this. Sorry, y'all. Let me just do this real quick. Um, I don't know. It's not on here. This towel not on here. So they be throwing stuff in here sometimes. And now you're putting it inside the thing. But so this is another, another towel, a nice hand towel. I don't know the name, the number for it because it's not in my my little list. They did put the waffle texture towel on there, but they didn't put that on there. This is a face mask. You can put it over your face and it covers your face, your mouth, and your neck. This is the um the item number is V is in Victor, G is in Gorilla, A is in Apple, I is in Igloo, T is in Tiger, E is in Elephant, and R is in Romeo. So it's like V Gator Four, the number four afterwards. V Gator Four, Gator is G A I T E R. It's a neck Gator, nineteen point five by nine point seven. Okay. A neck gator is what they call them. So I get that one. Okay, let's see what they got in this box right here. Oh, they gave me a lot of face masks. I still be doing face masks because we still gotta use face masks. A lot of people that's not getting vaccinated still gotta use them on the airplane. So I do a lot of these. So I'm gonna keep these. These are um all face masks. Oh, let me see what size these are. I love their face masks. I get all my face masks from Condi also. Um they, they gave me um, the 5.5.2 by 7.8, 10 pack. They gave me 10 of them. Okay, they're not fully cotton, so you got to put another mask on it under it if you don't want to get, you know, the COVID. But they are really nice. Um, they gave me 10 of those. Cool. And what size is this? I think this, this is like a medium. They have a bigger size for men. They had the big ones, and I bought some of them. I'm like, this is too large. This said this is large. Okay. Is this the one that might be the big one? Not that this is the medium size one. But it says large on the package, but they have some larger than this too. This is a 10 pack right here. Then they also gave me a oh, they gave me another. They know I love them. Gave me a 10 pack of um the small ones. Um, this is the small uh let me show you this. This is the, the item number for this. I'm sorry, the item number for the the larger ones is P is in Paul, F is in family. Amazon Michael four or five. Okay, that's for the ten. That's for the ten pack. They come in ten packs. They come in packs. The ten. I'm sorry. That's a large one. Then they, they got a ten pack of smalls, which is P is in Paul, F is in Frank, M is in Molly, four four, B is in boy. Okay, here's the small ones. The sublimate is so great. You only got to sublimate one side. Yes, Connie is the side with the blanks, and she just put the um, thank you dimps. She put the website there, but you don't call them. You can go on the website and check out everything that they have on there. Get the item number, write it down, and then call Connie Smith. Call, call uh, Chloe Smith and let her know that um you refer to, from, from me, Charmaine Galloway, and they'll give you a discount on whatever you order, okay? Like I said, it's going to be Black, Fri Black Friday week coming up this week, so please do it now because you will get a, I guess you'll get a, an extra discount on your stuff if you contact them this week coming up. Okay, disclaimer, y'all new here, I talk fast. So who's new? Let me see if you're new. Say you're new in your name and I can shout you out if you're new to this channel. Ooh, what you got here? Ooh, look at this. Look at this. It's cute. Hey, Denise. I'm working, so I'll try to keep up with the chat. Thank you, Dimps. Hey, she at work. You at work, girl. <laughs> okay, this is a little charm thing. This is cute. It's white because um, please like subscribe. Yes, Joanna, thank you. Please like subscribe. You can see more videos. I try to get a video in each week, and I do a lot. So if you're looking for sublimation, you're looking for embroidery, you're looking for sewing, you're looking for uh, 
about anything I do it. So check out my videos if you're new to this channel and I appreciate you. This is a little charm. This is a blank. You, you still have made on this white piece right here. This is pretty. It might come with the, it probably come with a necklace with it, but I don't see it right now. But it might be in here somewhere. Um, this is no, it don't. Oh, come with a ribbon. Oh, come with the ribbon. So, so I guess it's a little. It says a wooden. No, it's not it. Then it's not the same one I'm looking for. Hold on, let me see. This is not wooden. This is a. What is it? What is it? They didn't put it on here either. They tripping. They just threw this in here for me because I don't see the um. The item number for this either. So they be throwing stuff in here without putting me the item number in there. So this, I guess. I'm gonna leave this to the side, okay? This is just like a little charm. You can still make somebody picture, memorial, memorial, whatever. This would be cute, okay? This is the wood thing they were telling me about. This is sublimation, okay? And then, then it's like a little ornament for Christmas. Put the little um ribbon on there. That's really nice. You can sublimate on both sides. Another ornament right here with a ribbon. I'm sorry if I didn't see y'all newbies, but I see y'all shouting them out. My Hey, Denise. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, PJ, welcome, welcome, welcome. Hey, Priscilla, welcome. Hey, let me see, please don't subscribe. Hey, what's up, Chastity? Welcome to my channel. Okay, this is another ornament. This is a nice size ornament. You can sell it on both sides. Um, These are those little, uh, oh, let me tell you what those, I'm sorry. The ornament number is, for the wooden one, is you as an umbrella, 4733. Okay. And then for the other shape, the shape, the other one is not on here, of course. So just check up on there and look for ornaments and stuff. Nope, it's not on here, y'all. Oh, but I found this little, the, the pendant. It's so big. It's probably stuff on here. I probably can't look. I'm not looking too too fast. This is the pendant. It's called a Yubasa Brazil. I mean, Bezo pendant. 1.5 and it's round and it had a little insert in it. And that is you as an umbrella. Four, six, eight, six. Okay. I'm looking at my list, y'all. And this is the um aluminum uh, ornament. This one is you as an umbrella. Four, one, nine, three. These are so cute for Christmas, y'all. These are so cute. You can sell these. You can make these for family members. These are so cute. It's aluminum. Nice. All the ornaments. They got so many things on the on this side you can use. You can you can um sublimate for Christmas. If you don't know how to sublimate, check out my videos. I show you how to sublimate. I show you what you need to sublimate. I show you how to convert your regular printer. Only a few printers work. I can show you how to convert those to um sublimation printers. So they all on my videos. So check my videos out, y'all. Here's some coasters. This is a sandstone coaster, three point eight. These are nice and it's so strong. They are so strong. It's something I so strong. So heavy weight. Very, very nice. Okay. This, and then it had the back to it. So you won't scratch up your table. The little cork for the back. It comes with it. Okay. You can put it on the back, stick it on there. This number is S is in Sam. S is in Sam. C is in candy. 016. It's called the Sandstone Coaster. Okay. Nice. I love this stuff. And these are the um the top no no you think i mean socks too what are they? i know what these are but let me make sure i think they are the, these are the ones which you use for the um hand sanitizer um the hand sanitizer holders but i don't see it on my list of course oh hand sanitizer bottle holders and this is um three ounces and this these are the item number is m is in michael p is in paul zero seven zero yes dims thank you check out my tiktok y'all i just did a video i just did a um i'm gonna show y'all this too i did it in brows oh oh uh, 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 i also embroidered goodness gracious i couldn't get also out for nothing and i just did my first embroidered my first embroidered hoodie i can't talk today and now the guy want me to do 30 of them so yes I'm excited about that. I'm going to show you that hoodie in a minute, so don't let me forget. Okay, so I'm going to do 30. I had digitized his um logo for him. He's from my city, so he heard about me. So, yes, I'm going to be getting them done. 
before Christmas. So I'm excited about that. My first big order. But this is my first time. That I've, I've done hoodies before, but I haven't done it on my big machine. I have a six needle machine. Let me show y'all real quick if y'all know what I'm talking about. Machine right there. Y'all can see that thing right there. I got that. So I just started, Um, I just did my first hoodie on that. But I've done some on these machines right here. I got a machine right there and a machine right there. Oh, that's, no, that's my, and that's my, what is that? Sublimation printer, my big one. But I also had this one right here. But my, I, I, I recommend, everybody said what I recommend, the PEA 100 I recommend, okay? If you want to start off, get one of those. Because this one right here is more expensive, but it do have bigger hoops, okay? So I have videos about that stuff on other channels, on other videos. So check those out because I don't want this video to be too long. I do want to embroider something. I do want to supplement something for you today. So I don't want to talk about all this stuff right now because I want to supplement some stuff for you today. But check out my um videos. I'll tell you about my machines. I have a tour about everything I have in here. Check it out. I have these 12 ounce huggers. Okay. These are cute. Um, it's the item number is H is in hamburger, U is an umbrella, G is in gorilla, one seven, B is in boy. Okay. I got so much stuff from, from Condi. I'm not going to do a giveaway today, but I will do a giveaway soon because I have like a whole three boxes full of Condi stuff. I already did a giveaway last time I did the video, so I gave away some stuff. But I'm not going to use all this stuff. And Condi don't mind as long as it's being used. Because it was here in my house, I might not use them because I've been doing a lot of orders and stuff. I'll probably do some videos on different things like that, but it's just too much stuff in my house to be trying to hold on to. So I will be doing some giveaways soon. I just did one before. But please, 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 if you already want a giveaway, Please try not to go on to the next giveaways that I have because we want everybody else to win some stuff. So, if you already won a video, a giveaway, try not to try to get involved with the next one I'm going to do. Okay. Okay. So, here's the um phone case. This is the iPhone case 12 mini. I have a 12. Oh, my God. I got the newer phone. This is too small for my phone. So, this is a 12 mini rubber case. And then this is the insert you put on here. You supplement on this part. Then you put it right here. And it sticks on there, okay? This part right here, you pick this off, it's, it's glue. You stick it on there for your iPhone. They have different sizes. This is the only one I have was the, the 12 mini. And this number is I is an iPhone, P is in phone, C is in candy, 1213. Candy.com. Like I said, you can go on their website, check out their website, write all the item numbers down that you see that you like, and then call them the 1 800 number and ask for Chloe Smith, and she will give you a discount this week. She'll give you a discount forever if you ask for my name, Charmaine Galloway, right? But also this week they having some uh, uh, Black Friday week and they're doing some sales. So check them out this week, okay? You won't be disappointed. Oh, look at these socks, y'all. They just give me one sock. Really? They give me one sock. Okay. Okay, they gave me one. I can't believe they don't give me one sock. I gotta be looking. I gotta, no, it's gotta be no sock in here. Um, it says, it's got to be another one in here because it says socks. So these are little toddler socks. Aren't they cute? And you can supplement on the whole sock. And then on the other back of the sock too. But this is with a heel at. So you got to worry about supplementing the heel. But this is cute little toddler sock. I got to find another one though. This number is sock 44. Right, Dems. Where my other sock at? Quit playing with me. <laughs> I can't believe I can't find it. Which I know who I am. I'm gonna be losing stuff on my videos. Let me put this back in here. And I got like three boxes of the kind of stuff back there. That's just sitting back there. And these cups. This is a um. What is this? This is a tum. This is a steel tucker. No, let me see. Make sure I'm talking to the right person. Okay. Talking to myself. Hold on, y'all. Hmm. Okay, this must be the this must be the stainless. Oh no, okay, I see it. This is a 18 ounce polymer polymer travel mug. Okay. White with black lid. This is 18 ounces. Nice handle. Very sturdy. Nice lid. This, I like this thing. It's gonna it's like it's keep I keep things hot and cold. Okay, this item number is T is in Tom, U is an umbrella, M is in Michael, H is in hamburger, U is an umbrella, and a G. Hold on, y'all. Scratch that. Scratch that. My bad. I'm looking at the wrong one. This is uh the item number is Polly Mug P 
P-O-L-Y-M-U-G, 15, T as in Tom, A as in Apple, okay? That's what this one is, so sorry about that. I'm going to do it again. Poly Mug, P-O-L-Y-M-U-G, 1, 5, T as in Tom, A as in Apple. 18 ounce tumbler mug with white, with black lid. Okay. Let's see what we got in here, y'all. We almost done. Got two more tumblers to look at. Ooh, what's this one? This one is the uh, 11 ounce stainless steel tugger white. So you can use it like this. We can put this in here. Hold on, let me see. I don't know what the, what the heck. <laughs> what in the world is this? What is this for? Like, what are you going to, I mean, you screw this on here. But you can drink it like this. I don't know. Tell me it's something new, y'all. I don't know what, what this is all about. Because it's not really wrong for your lips to go on. Sorry, I'm just breathing on this stuff. I'm going to keep this because I'm breathing on it. I don't have Corona, but yeah. But yeah, um... This is kind of different for me. I don't know. But yeah. It's a um 11 ounce stainless steel tugger white. The item number is. Oh, how do you use this? The item number is T is Tum T U M Hug H U G 221. Let me say that over again, y'all. I'm just like. Show me what I would do with this. T U M H U G as in goat 221. Yeah. I would be giving this away. Okay. Um. Let's see. Uh, who has your. Um, and I, I'm pretty sure these all would fit in, in the Cricut um, mug press. Oh, you put a can. Duh, Charmaine. You might put a can. She said you might put a. You can put a can in there. You know, hold the can in there. That looks kind of small for a can to fit in there, but maybe it, it's a can ho holder. Okay. Okay, but okay, it could be. I don't know. It looks kind of small for a can. That's the one. Yeah. It's kind of small for a can to fit in there. Unless you get the mini cans, and that do make sense because then you put that in there, the can won't fall out. But who would do something like this? Whatever. Okay, but I use it like this. Something like this. Yeah, you can put a straw in there. Okay. Yes, man. Somebody said some of my umbrellas. Dimps got the link for you. Go ahead. Uh, Dimps. Yes, I sublimate on everything. Sublimate umbrellas, towels, uh, ceramic stuff, uh, notebooks. I sublimated um, journals. I sublimated um, the little the, the marble memorial cement plaques. I've still made it uh, cups, mugs, tumblers, whatever you name it. I got videos on all uh, tutorials on how to do all of that. Okay, t shirts. And I simply made it my oven, my air fryer, and my Cricut Easy Press, my Cricut Mug Press. I'm sorry. And I also have a, um, a tumbler press. So I simply made it on all of those in my videos. So if you want to know how to do those, check them out. Ooh, I love this one. This is a 20 ounce. This is big. big. Oh, I love tumblers, y'all. I love tumblers. I love my tumbler press. I just did a video on how to do tuck made on tumbler with tumbler press. I love it. But before I had my tumbler press, I was using a convection oven for my tumblers. Oh, this is so big. Let's see what size. This is a 20 ounce. They look bigger than 20. I thought this was going to be. This look huge. But this is my tumbler. I love their tumblers. I do get it from there. Okay. This is a 20 ounce tumbler with a metal straw. Okay. Um, and the number for these are T as in Tom, U as an umbrella, M as in Michael, 217. I won't be giving this away because I love these things, y'all. I'll be selling these like hotcakes. These in my mug, so in my bling bling glasses, they go fast in my table, y'all. I think, another one here? They gave me, did they give me two? Oh, they gave me this other one. This is a tapered stainless steel water bottle, okay? 17 ounces. I never submitted on these. And I wonder if this will fit in the, um, it should fit in the, um, you know, I might do a live on this. Not today, but I might do a live on this because I want to see if it fits in my, um, my, 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 my um, tumbler press. I don't know about this. I don't think so. I don't, but no, 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 no. It won't fit in the tumbler press, y'all. Y'all have to put this, um, the, um, the wrap on there. 
the um what's it called and you heat it up i told you my words not coming together with me right now y'all know y'all about to tell me in a minute i don't use that i don't use the um the wrap so i might i'm gonna get this away what's it called y'all the wrap that you heat up and you um to get your image on here i don't use that i got a lot of them i don't use them wrap what kind of silicone not silicone what's it called come on now somebody tell me no, it does not. No, it will not fit in the, the, the tumbler because it's, it's right here. Size will not fit. Okay, it's got to be straight, straight like that other one. But you just put the uh, stuff on there. You heat it up, and then it's it, 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 you can get put in the oven. Thank you, Mama's cha. Is it cha? Shrink wrap is what it's called. Okay, shrink wrap. I couldn't get that word out for nothing. I couldn't remember because I got that stuff going on in my brain, y'all. So you can use shrink, shrink wrap for stuff like that that's not gonna fit into your um your um tumbler press or your mug press. Then you just put it in the oven or you put it in your um convection oven or you put it in your air fryer. I have a video on all that, okay? I do not use shrink wrap because it didn't work for me. I use a tape method. So if you see me using my oven, I'll be using the 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 oh my gosh, I'm mad. You go to sleep. <laughs> I use the heat tape and I use the painter tape. Okay, I use the tape method. I don't use the shrink wrap. And for my tumblers, I mean, for my mugs, I use the um, silicone wrap. Get that from um, Etsy. That's it, y'all. Okay, so let's get on to this video. I'm going to go ahead and do a, um, I'm going to sub some stuff, okay? I'm sub probably a, a, t a journal, and that's it, because I'm my tongue is just all over the place. I just can't talk straight today. But don't forget, check out Condi, Okay. I have 60, I have 142 people watching. Can I get some more likes? I got 69 likes. Thank you for the likes. But can I get some more likes, please? I appreciate you. If you go out the video and you like the video, if you want to see me sublimate on this journal, y'all. So I need to see some likes if y'all want to see me sublimate on this journal. I'm going to do this right now. But I got to get some more likes, y'all. I got 150 people watching. And I appreciate you all. But yep, all these are from Condi. I showed y'all. If y'all missed anything, y'all can go back. The video will stay up. Okay? You can go back and watch it over again. But for now, this stuff is going back in my box. Stay tuned to my video because I will be giving this stuff away. I have some more stuff in my back from Condi. Like I said, Condi just wants y'all to use it. And I won't be using this stuff because I've been doing videos on lives and stuff on seeing my orders and stuff. So, I don't have time to do that right now. But I've also been doing stockings, y'all. Let me show y'all this real quick while I get them lights on. Let me get some more lights. Y'all know Christmas is around the corner, so I'm getting ready for Christmas. Even though Thanksgiving ain't here yet, I still got to get ready for Christmas. But look at this, y'all. Look at this, y'all. Ain't this something? This is a heel stocking. Okay, I made these. I have the hers and his stockings, y'all. Look at that for Christmas. So you can get your little hubby one and your the wifey can have one. You can have your little stockings with your favorite sports on there, okay? So yes, I do make these. So check out my website. I do not have a video on how to make these yet, okay? I don't have a video, but um, I do make these. Charmingdoubletique.com, okay? So check them out. Okay, and I also have the, of course, I got the Cowboys, because we got Cowboys, and uh, Cowboys and Steelers are here in my state, so this is what I, I'm used to, so I can make a sample for my, you know, Cowboys and Steelers, but I do, do more, okay, I have more other, other, um, sports, sports teams, okay, basketball, football, whatever you want, I can do it for you, and I also got some of the Black Lives Matters ones, okay, I made them already, so you check out my website. If you don't know how to, if you're gonna make them, it's some webs, it's some tutorials on YouTube, but I don't have any tutorials on you. I didn't do it yet, so just check them on YouTube. I also made the kids ones. The ones you see that's kids is in my kids boutique, and it's called Array of Sunshine Boutique. So that's some for the boys. I also have some for the girls. Okay, so yep, I do have these on Array of Sunshine, my children boutique. But I make tutus, I make embroidery shirts and vinyl shirts for. Kids that also sew up skirts. I made skirts and shirts and stuff for girls, hair bows. So I do that, all that on my kids' um, website, Etsy page, which is a ray of sunshine. Okay? And the adult ones are Charming Gal Boutique. And it should be linked below. I will have everything, all my links below this video after I get off. But, um, 
Yes, y'all. I've been sewing up some stuff. Y'all like sewing. I like sewing. It's really therapeutic to me. Okay, I just like sewing. Are you trying to find whatever? Like I said, I'm gonna make some more burp tiles and bibs that match with um and I can embroider your kid's name on the bibs, bibs or burp tiles. So I'm gonna start doing some more of those and stuff. Just I got so much stuff. Check them out on the sites, y'all. Just check them out. If you go there, you don't gotta buy it. If you don't wanna buy nothing, just like it and say, you know, leave me a message telling you that you that you stop by and I appreciate that, okay? Appreciate all the love and the support y'all give me. I love it, love it, love it. So go check my websites out and just leave me a little note. Say hey to me or like my page and go to TikTok, like my TikTok, like my Instagram page. All the links will be below after I get done with this video. Oh, that rhymes. All the links will be below after I get done with this video. <laughs> I'm so corny, y'all. Okay, so now let's get to this. Um, I was going to do some tumblers, some mugs or whatever, but I'm not because I don't feel, I just don't want to do anything else tonight because I can't talk. I need some something to drink. My mouth is dry. But I seen some uh, these. This is Toledo Scott Bulldogs. This is a famous, it's a nice school that we, a high school that we have in my in my state. So in my city. So I'm gonna be doing some mugs for this because I'm doing an event this weekend. I, I don't know where I got this image from, y'all. I don't know where I got it from, but I'm gonna be using this one too for some mugs. And I'm gonna use that one for a mug. I'm gonna do that probably tomorrow. I'm gonna do this one for a mug. Okay. I could do this on a mug too, which I will. Cause that's nice. But I'm going to put this image on this right here, okay? And if you want to do the whole thing, which I'm not going to do today, I'm going to show you that. If you want to do the whole the whole thing, you basically lay it flat like this and you measure it. Measure it, okay? So I measure this, and it is, sorry for the wobbling, because I'm my, my, um, I don't want to put this on my stand because I want to hold it so you can see exactly what I'm doing. So if I measure this, this would be 12 by eight and a half right okay but you always make it a little bit bigger so you can make sure it comes off the page you don't want the um the binder to have any white on it so make it a little bit bigger but that's the measurements for this okay but it might not be the measurement for you what you have so whatever you get just measure it i don't use templates y'all everybody say what templates? i don't everybody keep on saying what templates do you use i don't use templates i use my tape measure that's it and that's how i do my tumblers that's how i do all of my stuff i don't use templates i use tape measurements okay so this is a 12 by what i say eight and a half but then i only want to do this right here right so this side over here is, of course, it's like six. Okay, so it's six by still eight and a half, right? But this image, I want, I don't want to fill up the whole page. I just want it to be like something that's on the page, but it's got a white background, right? So basically, I'm, I'm going to make this probably like a seven, so you don't have to go to the top. You don't have to go to the top. Even though it's a nice size uh, rectangle like this is, I don't have to, you don't have to go on the top. I could put it right in the middle. So I can have white in a, on the top, right on the back, and white on the side. Oh, y'all, my, my dang gonna phone going there. Okay, so then I'm going to probably do this probably like a four and a half. Instead of doing the five all the way across, I'm going to do like a four and a half. Okay, so because I don't want it to fit on the whole page. I want to have some white background so it could be cute. Like it was made like that, you know. So with that being said, I already made this. This is Silhouette. A free. I'm using the business edition, but you can get a free version. You do not have to have a cameo to buy Silhouette, okay? You can use the designs to um design space to design your images, for you, whatever you're gonna sublimate on, okay. I like silhouette because you can print out 19 by well, you can print out what is it? Uh, sorry, 13 by 19, 11 by 17, and eight and a half. Okay, you cannot print big and cricket. Okay, so silhouette or word perfect or whatever else you use. It's a couple more things you can use to print big, but I use silhouette. Okay, I did, I'm paying for it, but you can get a free version. Okay, okay, and also, y'all, if y'all don't know, let me tell y'all, I am doing classes out, I'm doing classes now and i've been doing a lot of classes y'all been booked but i will be open at the christmas i have some more openings well i have a couple more openings in the, the week before christmas i do one-on-ones on facebook messenger it's, it's easier to do facebook messenger instead of zoom because i can put it on my phone and i can show you step by step how to do the things that i teach you whatever you want to know i can teach you okay if it's from sewing from embroidering from making patches from cricket whatever making journals whatever you want i can show you how to do it and we can do a one-on-one -on -one. there is a paid class so you can just inbox me on facebook charmaine galloway and i can give you the um information of how much it costs and, and then you can pick your days the times and we can go from there it's four classes for two hours and a half no two hours and it's four classes okay so check me out so you can get some training again if y'all want to learn any of these things okay i love teaching i love it i've been i have over 10 classes already and they oh i love it i have so much fun teaching people and just getting to know people okay so what i was about to tell you this you can use basically you can use this background right or you can find a background for google google a background or whatever or, or purchase backgrounds on etsy but what i did right here which is went on ahead and got a square over here 
click the square. This is what if I want to do a full notebook. I want to do the whole thing, okay? So all you got to do is find a square the same size as this notebook, okay? So you get you a square over here. Pick, click on the square right here. Then you just make the square. You just basically click on it. Then you use your mouse and then you open it up, okay? Then you basically go in and you, sorry, you click on it. Then you go up here to your colors, I mean, to your shape, color, and you make it whatever color you want. So you, it made it black, okay? Then you do the outline black also. So this is how you get your background if you want to make a full cover. And then if you want to put something on there, you basically find a shape, or I mean, find an image that you want to put on there that don't have the background to it. I don't like, I didn't like this one. I don't think I like that one. That one didn't work too good for me. So I get this one right here. And I always go ahead and say, bring, I'm click on it, right click on it, and, and say, bring to the front. See, I just showed y'all a little thing, how they work. Okay, this is not this, the right size. I'm going to move this over. And I'm going to get the size that I need. This is the size that I measure already. Okay, so then I put that right here. Um, it's so much better if I had a real mouse, but I'm using this, so be, bear with me. And you just set this wherever you want to put it. You're going to put it right here on this, on this side because you want it to be in the front, right? One in the front. But you can also put something on the back right here or you could just have the whole thing black back there. It don't have to be black and whatever color you want, but I'm just saying I'm just trying to show you quickly of how to do this, okay? This is how you find a background. Or you can purchase a background from um Etsy. Or you can go to Canva.com. Canva.com is a free uh, software. I love Canva also. Um, And you can find backgrounds from them. I got the paid version for Canva. So I, will, I do have videos on Canva.com, but I'm making some more. I got videos on how to make your um, business card in Canva.com. And I got a few other more videos in Canva. So check those out too. But I will be doing probably a video on how to do something like this in Canva also. So stay tuned to, for that. Okay, you can do that. And you can also put some words and stuff in there. But I'm not going to do all that today. So this is a, a pretty simple way to get a background from a, from a shape and then color it to whatever color you want it to be. Okay. And I can go in detail. Let me know in the comment below if you want me to go in detail on how to do more images like this in, you know, finding backgrounds, Google, all that kind of stuff. Let me know in the comment below if you want me to do more of these videos in silhouette. But I also would do them in video on Canva because Canva already have backgrounds in their software, in their, you know, in their program. Okay. So now what I do, I'm, I know I have my, my paper is big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and print these out because I don't want to waste all this paper. So these images are going on my, my mug. So I'm going to go ahead and size these to the size I want. I'm going to go ahead and print them out because I want to waste all this paper. This is 11 by 17 paper. I use that and I don't want to change it in my, um, my, my everything around. So I just use the same size paper for everything. I like the 11 by 17 paper. For my mugs, I think I do. Let me go check my list over here. If y'all can tell, whew, I have these sticky notes. This is supposed to be my logo, <laughs> but I have all these sticky notes to tell me what I need. So my cups, I do four by 3.5 okay so i'm gonna go ahead and make sure i write that in there four by 3.5 for my mugs and i get my mugs from condi so four four by 3.5 just put that in there real quick and then i'm gonna um do the rest of those like this so i can better print it out four by 3.5 but since it's white background here and i feel like doing a wet break background I'm go ahead and make it a little bit bigger on no that should be fine because it's really really tight the image is really tight on there. You can see that white background. You can get the white background, but I'm being lazy today, so I don't. I'm not gonna do that. So 4.4. That's the height. I'm gonna do 3.6. 3.6. Okay. Okay. So then I'm gonna do the same thing right here. No, do I like that? I'm gonna put it on the back. I don't like the way that looks. It don't look too good. I like this one. I'm sorry. I like this one. So this got white background around it. So I'm going to get bigger than what it's supposed to be because the white background is right now. I don't feel like taking the white background off right now. So I made this one 4, 3.6. So I make this one 4, 3.6. I'm just changing the size, y'all. That's all I'm doing. But I'm going to make this a little bit wider because this white background is on here. Let me see if that's going to oh, this fits the same. I'll make it a little bit bigger. I'll make it, let's see, I'm gonna make it 4.2. I don't know, y'all. I'm, I'm, I, I hate this line. This cricket, I, I, it's a way you can get it off, but it's really irking me. I don't remember how to do it, so that's why it's there. I'm gonna say 4.2 and 3.7, because that white, that white, that background is in the back, and it's gonna be, I'm gonna cut that white background off. Okay, so I got that one, that one, I'm gonna do this one. Okay, 
So that's going to be a four by three. And I'll be done and print it out, y'all. Okay, I think that's good enough. Do I want that to be a little bit wider? It looks kind of slinky. Okay, just take your time. When y'all doing stuff like this, take your time. Get it how y'all want it. And bam, you have a nice little design. Do one line. I think I'm going to do one tape. Let's see what's on this. Loop tape. This might be too big. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to print. <clears throat> if y'all don't know how to do silhouette, I'm going to give you a quick lesson on how to print this out. Okay. So basically what I need to do is this is 11 by 17 paper. And right here on this paper icon right here you see it says 11 by 17 so make sure that's in there if it's not in here the correct way it's not going to work okay so make sure that says 11 by 17 you go up to file right here and you go to print setup first even though my stuff is set up i'm just showing y'all how to print out a silhouette because if you wanted to just get this, this um software just to print out the stuff is all you got to do is merge your stuff in here go to file right here you go to merge which is right here and then you go to wherever your files are located at in your computer okay then you merge it and come up here then you size it the way you want to size it. And then you just go ahead and make sure everything is set as far as the paper set right here. And it's the paper in there. And that's all you got to do. You don't got to worry about anything else. If you just want to upload stuff, it's easy. Just uploading and printing so you could be on big paper, larger paper than 8 and a half by 11, okay? So I have my, my printer. is 7 and 7 by 10. My paper is 11 by 17, so everything looks good. So I'm going to push OK. Okay. Now go back to File. Now go to Print. And then I just go ahead and push Print in a second but if you don't have a mac i've been working on people or whatever with it with, with different kind of ht ht printer or whatever i'm gonna show you in a minute how to flip your design if you don't have a mac my mac i just basically merge it like i just showed you i just flipped it well i'm gonna show you right now i'm sorry <laughs> talking too fast so i'm gonna go ahead and push print after i push print i come here to media quality and i go to layout and I go to flip horizontally, okay? But some people I've learned, I've noticed because I have been teaching people, they don't have this, they don't have this in their computer, right? So I'm gonna show you how to flip it horizontally without, if you don't have this part in your printer, okay? So I went on, or if you have a different printer, like some of them printers, you don't, it don't have this right here. It'll tell you to flip it horizontal. So um, make sure it has the printer right here. Make sure it has flip horizontally and then you just print. If I can't print right now, I gotta put paper in my machine, y'all. So I'm getting my 11 by 17 paper. I use Asa paper. And uh, yeah, I get it. I got a feeling I'm gonna get a lot of <laughs> a lot of thumbs down on the video because I'm talking kind of fast today. So <laughs> I feel it in my soul. <laughs> but it's all good. I hope y'all like what I'm doing. If y'all like what I'm doing, please give me some thumbs up or some give me some. Let me see some hearts, please. Even though I'd be uh, talking all fast on my speedy days, I can't help it. I wish I could, but. It's, it's a hard process, y'all. So let me see some hearts or something. Let me know if I'm doing what y'all want me to do. I'm about to push print right here. I put my paper in there. And it's about to go. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the hearts. Y'all know me. <laughs> I'll be trying, y'all. I'll be trying. My heat press is heating up. Oh, my purple hearts. Thank you. My favorite color. I love it. And also make sure the settings are right in your printer. Okay, but by this print, I'm going to show you um, how to flip it if you don't have Because like I said, I've been working people. I'm like, I don't know. So I had to figure out how to do it so I can get it together when I do in my classes. Thank you for the hearts. I see them. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so let me show y'all this. Okay, so basically you go right here. You click on this. And then you right click on it. And then you put flip horizontal. Okay, you got to do all the images. Okay, that's, that's for some printers and some computers some printers and computers you don't have to do all that you just go right to print and then you can flip it okay but sometimes people have to flip it on your page and you got to be flip horizontal because you're putting heat on it okay so whenever you're using heat you got to flip it horizontal thanks for the hearts thanks for the purple hearts and thank you okay here's our images right here right i'm not gonna be using these today because this is gonna be for my cups and this is too big y'all i look like it's too big but it'll be okay i fix it but these are fit sometimes it just don't work out for you and what size i do that with that is a four by it's a four by two. Oh, it'll probably be a four. That's why it's too big. You're supposed to, because the, the width, the height has got to be a four because it would go off the cup. So yeah, this is too big, but it's cool. I can figure it out. 
but these are gonna work. And then this one goes, this is one gonna go on my journal. Let me turn you around so you can see what I'm doing here. The heat press is ready, so after I finish heating this up, we are going to be done with this video. I gave me something to drink. <laughs> Maybe some wine. The last time y'all had me, we had we was drinking wine and doing stuff. We had some fun, y'all. I might do another one. Well, that's pretty close to my edge. So I just cut it cut around the edge. If you're doing if you're using t-shirts, if wherever you if you're printing on t-shirts, it's good for you to tear the image because you don't want that line, the harsh line in it, okay? You know, I told y'all that before in my videos. Like right here, if you cut right here, this line will be on your t-shirts, okay? So instead of cutting the paper, you tear around your image so you won't get that harsh line. And see that when you press it on the shirt, it, it won't be that harsh line. It'll be like this, so you won't be able to see that line. But if you cut it, you will sometimes will see that. Wonder why you get that line on your shirt? Because you cut it, and it's too harsh for that heat press. The heat press pick up a lot of stuff, okay? So now you know if you didn't know. Tear your, tear your paper so you can get that nice little soft line, okay? Okay, so here's the image. Yes, it looks dull. Oh, thank you, Craft with Love. She said, I rock. I tried to, honey. I try. Um... Here's the image. It does look like it's like, oh, where's the color at? The heat is what to bring the color out, okay? So don't be scared if you see something like this without no heat, without no color to it. You're good. Just press it on that thing, whatever you're pressing on, and you'll be all good. So let's go press it. So let's, let me show y'all real quick why I did this. It's going to be just like this, right? And it's a cool little size because I want to be able to have some white on the back and the white. But if this was a full background, like if this was not white, it was like blue, Oh, baby, you want to make sure this thing going to fit on the whole thing. You don't want no blue front and a white back, okay? Just saying, okay? But I'm being lazy today because I'm, like, getting a big old design on it. And this is easy to do. And I can sell this. But, like I said, if the, if the background has some blue, if it was a background with a color on it, make sure this whole thing, get that square and stretch it out and make it the whole size so you won't look crazy, okay? But since this don't have a background to it, it's just white, it's going to be cute like that, okay? Because white do not... um transfer okay it's gonna be the white of the journal so that's cute right so i'm gonna put on i'm gonna go ahead and um take out to my heat press we can put this journal together and we're gonna be done and i i'm gonna be using heat tape but you can also use a spray i do have some spray um but that spray man i've been spraying i got my carpet clean y'all can see my carpet looks good y'all because this carpet was looking filthy y'all y'all can't see but anyway i had some spray and i've been using that spray y'all and this gets on my carpet and that stain did not come out from that spray y'all i'm so mad at myself it's like a, um and i've been walking over you do spray the spray and then you walk over it and it get to keep that dirt stop it's like a little dirt spot on my carpet so i that's why i put this rug right here so if i do want to use that spray it won't get on my carpet so i'm so mad at myself i'm like oh my god i figured out how to get i got my carpet clean and that did not come out so, let me show you the spray, though. Let me show you the spray. Let me find it. Where is that spray at? Oh, here it is. I use the Dye Trans Pro Spray. I use this. Like I said, you don't, you can basically, I can just spray this paper on here. Spray this on the paper and then put it on the, on the little journal and it'll, be, it'll stick without using tape. But sometimes this does use, leave a lot of film, a little bit of film, I'm sorry. And sometimes it does, like if you put, if you spray too close to the paper, you just want to dust it, right? Because I do this a lot. I use this a lot for my, for these, okay? I use this a lot for these, okay? Because it's easier. You don't got to worry about using the tape. And sometimes the tape leaves a, leave a mark too, but I've, I've messed up a few because that leather, that, that leather material, it, 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 it picks up a lot of stuff, okay? So today I'm just going to use the tape just to be safe because I don't want to mess this up because it's a different kind of leather. It's not really leather. This is something else. It's like a shiny I don't know what this is called, but it's like, it's thinner than this leather. And it's more glossier too. So it's the leather. This is like something, it's something, it's shinier and it's glossier, okay? So I'm just going to be safe. I'm going to just use my heat tape. And you still have to open this up. You don't want to keep it closed, so you make sure you keep it open like this, okay? So I'm going to just go ahead and get it together. And this is just my um, spray that I use for my... Um, the same stuff is it? I use this for something else. I use this for embroidery. Oh, my my hoop when I'm hooping my embroidery machine. Okay, I'm on the ground away from the heat, so I won't blow nothing up, y'all. Okay, so what I need to do with now is just basically place this picture where I want to place it. If you see any fingerprints on here, just use a, something and wipe it off. I'm just being ghetto right now. I'm wiping using my sleeves. <laughs> 
Okay, make sure this is the front of the notebook. This is what's the front, right? It goes it opens this way. It don't matter. You can make it how you want to. But this is how I'm going to do it. And I'm going to go ahead and set this in the middle how I want this in the middle. So I can have the front, the top, and the bottom showing with some little um white on both, on the bottom and the top, okay? Let's see if I want to go like right here. Give me a minute, y'all, because I am selling this. So I'm going to make sure it looks good, right? And you know I have your girl have problems with making stuff straight, so... My stuff be crooked like a mug. Put the tape on here so it won't move. We put tape on there so basically put that on there so it won't move, it won't shift. Okay. So now, I, since I'm not going to be sublimating this side of the book, I'm going to let this hang off. This is, this is the same way I do when I do my um when I do these. Check out my video. I basically open this up, okay, and hang it on the outside of the um, heat press so it won't melt this. Okay, the back part. So you just put the front part in there. Okay. You don't close it up, because if you close it, it'll melt together. So you open it up, you press this side only, and have this part right here hanging out. Hope you can see that. I'm going to use one hand. So I'm doing the same thing to this. I'm letting it hang out because I'm not going to um be pressing on that. Okay, if I can see that. Can y'all see that? There you go. This part is hanging off the, off the heat press. Let me turn it around, y'all. I'm tripping. Okay. Okay, so this is how I got it. I have my heat press from um, Heat Press Nation, 16 by 24, slide drawer, and I love it. Okay, get some paper to put on top of it. Ugh. I'm gonna use this big old paper and I'm gonna show you this yeah, I'm gonna show y'all my what's name real quick too. My um hoodie I just did y'all. Oh shoot. Gotta lift this up. I'm just gonna hit my table. Get it to the size as much as I can so I won't get that other part in there because I'm not heat pressing that and you don't want to burn. And it's gonna still be 600 seconds. I mean 600. I mean I'm sorry, three, four hundred for 60 seconds. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Okay, here's my hoodie, y'all. I know I made a mistake. Well, let me turn y'all this way. I am finally able to watch it live. Hey, girl. Hey, Ta was it Ta Tahisha? Tahisha. I'm about to be off this live, girl. You late, girl. But it's okay. You can always watch it again. Um, This is my first embroidery shirt. Yes, I know it's too low. I, this is my first time doing it. So I know next time I'm going to bring this up some. But this is a, basically a, a logo of someone that I digitized it. And I embroidered it on this shirt on this hoodie okay so next time i know i gotta go up a little bit but i also use my mighty hoops my first time using that on my swish on the swish shirt so i will be ordering the um what's it called the um station the, the shirt station or whatever anybody have the search station is it worth it i mean it's kind of expensive and i got 30 of these to do so i think i'm gonna go ahead and get it shana's still on here who else in here um embroidery i need y'all i need y'all help let's just cool off and i'm gonna show y'all in a minute get some thumbs up y'all want to see this y'all Give me some thumbs up if y'all want to see this. Give me some thumbs up if y'all want to see this. Okay. But yeah. So it's just a little bit low. I mean, it's a little bit too low, so I'm going to make it up next time. The other 31 the ones I got to do, I'm going to lift and go up somewhere and probably go over a little bit too. But I didn't have the, the shirt station, so I didn't do it right. But I know now what I did wrong, so I know if I don't get the shirt station, I know what I'm doing wrong. So this is my machine right here. And this is this is the little hoop for like I got this hoop, but this I can't I can use this for bags, I can use this for like onesies and shirts and stuff like that. But I need a big one for the big shirts. Now my mighty hoops on the wall. I love mighty hoops. If y'all embroider, I love mighty hoops. They are the bomb. Thanks to Shayna. She was telling me a lot of things about the mighty hoops. So Shayna, if you still on, do you have the um the shirt the station? Whoever else is on here. I mean, it's called the Hooper Station. No, it's called the Shirt Station, isn't it? You got one, Fabulous? Let me see what somebody was saying. Hello. Be sure to hit the like button. Yes, hit the like button, please. Um, I went to a training class on Wednesday. Okay, okay. Thanks, Priscilla. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and order it. But I was just making sure it was, it was worth the money. But I know I'm going to need it because I got 30 shirts to do. So if I was just doing a couple of them. Oh, you do got it, Fabulous? Okay, y'all got to talk to you after this video. Um, yeah, um, what was I say? Yes, 
I'm doing a lot of shirts, so I mean, a lot of hoodies, and I'm doing pants. So, I'm like, if I wasn't doing that big old order, I wouldn't have probably, probably wouldn't have bought it because this is kind of expensive. But because I have, girl, I bought this one. I'm sorry, I'm saying girl, but I know some men on here. I bought this one, it was expensive too, and I ain't never used it. <laughs> so, let me buy stuff, and I'm using it, but I know for sure I'm gonna be using that the shirt station because I've got these stories coming in. So, I will be doing that. So, let me shut up and show y'all what I got showing y'all. Y'all ready to see this, y'all? Ready to see it? Are you ready to see it? We ready to see it? Hey! The light is in the way. Ooh, girl, just dropped it on the floor. Look at that, y'all. Ain't that cute? Let me get out the light so y'all can see it. Ooh-wee. Beautiful, darling. I chase gold, not people. What you say now? Yeah, I made a whole lot of shirts like these too on my website. It's called the I forgot what I named the, but look, go on, go on, um, Charming Girl Boutique and try to check out my shirts, girl. There's so many nice shirts on here. It's got a lot of nice phrases on these shirts. I um, I, and I also tell you the website I got those images from. Um, I will let you know at the end of this video. I put it on there, but I can't think of the name of it. But yeah, she got some bad stuff on her site. Okay. Uh oh. Oh Lord, my phone is freezing up. My phone about to go dead, y'all. So I got to get off this video real quick. Show y'all how to put this thing together real quick for my phone. Go dead. But yes, this is beautiful, y'all. Look what we did today. Oh, I'm going to make some more of these. These are so cute. But this image, I, I'm going to, it's, oh, the image will be for this, the link for this will be under this video, okay? I'm going to put it up there after I close out. So come back in like three minutes and I'll let y'all know where I got this image from. Because there's so many of them. She's a bomb, okay? And go ahead and use, if you use that link, you'll get a discount on it, okay? So I think we just need to pull this off. I'm going to hurry up, y'all. Come on. Yes, it is. Okay, I got to pull this off because it's going to stick. Okay, so pull the paper off the um the sticky on this side. I'm going to do one at a time, okay? So I guess this is the way this goes up here. So this is the bottom of the book. So I'm going to do this one first. Open this up. Make sure y'all can see what I'm doing. Oh, girl, I'm going to make some more. Make sure the string is out the way. So I'll make sure you set this down. It's going to be even. And I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and go ahead and go ahead. And go ahead. Ooh, we're not in. Let's see how we rushing. Dang it. That thing stuck for real. Okay, so that side is. Oh, shoot, Charmaine. Okay, that's the side is done. So I just basically stuck it on there. And I'm gonna take this part off and try to do it the same. I mean, just lay it on here so it can be even so it won't be no lumps or crumps in here. I'm sure crumbs. He pressed nation 16 by 20. Thanks, fabulous girl. Okay. Um, okay, my nails is not working for me. But I hope my phone will go dead. It's about to go dead, y'all. So I gotta hurry up, okay? Ooh, sorry, I can't get it. Y'all know. Okay, here it is. My nails are in the way. Ah! Oh, I didn't do it right. Okay, I can't do it because my nails don't let me do it. But you see the um what it's gonna do. You basically peel this off, it's sticky. And it comes, it closes just like this. And it's going to be a perfect little notebook. Even got a little thing and a little bookmark, y'all. Then you open, you, you have it right here and you open it up. And you write in your journal, y'all. Ain't that cute? That part sticks. That's stuck, but this part right here ain't stuck because I got to get it together, y'all. Okay, so y'all got the gist of, y'all got the idea what it is. It's, it's kind of bent now because I just heat pressed it. But after the minute after I set it down, it's going to be okay. But these are so cute, and this texture is it's so smooth, it's so nice, it's so, oh, I like it. Y'all must buy a, about a thousand more of these, y'all. Oh, it's so cute. I love some nation. It'd be like, oh, my God, it's going to come out so cute, and the colors be popping. Okay, so check out my um, website, my Etsy page. Check out my um, uh, Etsy page. Check out my TikTok. I've been doing so many videos, y'all. Check out my uh, Brown Girls Craft with Cricket. We do a lot of crafting. Um, if you want to know, do a training with me with sublimation, embroidery, uh, patches, cricket, silhouette, whatever you want, inbox me on Facebook. Not in my, um, don't Facebook me on, um, my Charming Gal Boutique Facebook because I might not get it. Check, go to my name, Charmaine Galloway, and face and, um, inbox me and let me know you want to be part of that training. We can set some time and date so you can get that training one-on-one -on -one with me with, um, through Facebook Messenger. And basically a video chat. And we can show you how to work with you when it works. If you want to learn how to do these, I will show you. Okay? That's it. That's all. I appreciate y'all. See y'all next time. Bye. Oh, I pressed it for um 400 for 60 seconds.
Have a good day.